All right, it's feeding time for the fish. We've already put some in there. Might be enough. Catfish in there. Just fed them some pellets. And uh, they're doing pretty good. They're eating all of it off the bottom. There's still some floating around the top. They're not really touching right now. Feed them a little more. This isn't floating. That one's floating. They're looking really good though. This is, uh, I got them yesterday, so this is day two. This is their first feeding. They're doing really well. I've got to get my, uh, I've got some duckweed in the house that I'm going to mix with the food. But it's very little and it's kind of in a poor state. It's been in the house all winter. Um, so I'm actually going to get a barrel set up. Probably going to cut that barrel in half over there. Get it set up over here. And um, grow the duckweed in that. Start supplementing some of their food. I think we can give them a little more, Kara. Okay, are you sure? Yeah, here. How much? Just grab a little tiny handful. I'll tell you handful? how much. Yeah. Handful? No, not a big handful. No, that's too much. A little more. Yeah, that's good. I put it over here towards the back a little more. It's where you were, I over see. here. I can't see. I can see. They're not over here. They'll come. Go ahead and put it in. Drop it all. Um, thank you, Dad. All right, move your hands so they don't get scared. Like it's raining food. It's raining food. Yum. Yeah, let me get it. No, I want all of it. I want all of it. <laughs> what? I still have to figure out how much to feed them. I'm not quite sure yet. I need to actually measure that, that out. That baby's not even eating. It's like, yum. That baby can't eat them. Yeah, right? she, yeah, I broke up a bunch of small, tiny pieces. So I crushed it up so they can, uh, it's different sizes. It's some, the big ones are eating all the little I think they could still eat some more. Here, I'm going to go ahead and put it in. I want to feed them. No, that's, that should be good there. Why? Well, because we don't want to overfeed them. But the babies need to eat food. Yeah, it's probably more than enough, actually. Oh, he's nibbling it. Look! That baby's nibbling it. He's rolling it These are it about like three to five inches. It's the uh, sizes I got. Hi, I'm Kara. <laughs> You're my little helper, huh? Mm-hmm. What are we doing today? To toad suck. I'm going to Toad Suck, which is a little festival here in uh, in Conway, Arkansas. Uh, don't worry, it has nothing to do with actually sucking on toads. <laughs> but uh, and then also before we go there, because uh, that's we got a couple hours before we have to be there. Um, we're actually going to uh, what was it? Oh yeah, here I'll go ahead and show you. <clears throat> I've got these uh, these grapes here. I need to get planted. So I'm going to get some more uh, garden timber, landscape timbers, and uh, put it, I think, I'm trying to figure out, I'm probably going to put it like right here, just a small little strip. I don't know, I need to think about this a little more. I need to hurry up and get it in the ground, it's been out here for like a week. Um, but this kind of gets a lot of sun most of the day, but once I have this greenhouse up, it'll be blocked from all the evening sun, which I think is where we get the most sun in this area. So I gotta figure that out. Um, get that planted. I've still got this grow bed. Um, thinking about doing hydroponics in this instead of you know spending $150 to get this filled up with the uh, media. Um, but I will cut that barrel in half, which will give me really two more uh, grow beds. One of them actually will just be a duckweed uh, where I grow the duckweed. So. I could divide this up, you know, put some kind of divider and do hydroponics on one side, duck on the other. 
or just have the floating raft and have this duckweed off the side of it. Might do that. We'll see. All right, so I've added the emergency blankets to the tank. I've only done this side, which is the uh, the west side, mainly because sun. Um, we get the most sun, I guess, in the evenings on here. So I went ahead and did this side first. I'll do the other side tomorrow um, when I have time. <clears throat> I had a really bad algae bloom. It was actually string algae. I was getting it really bad. So I wiped down the walls, the interior, um, to use the uh, net to fish it out. And I've got the UV filter, which is only for like 60 gallons, I think. Probably won't be enough to make a difference. I don't, I don't really know. Um, we'll see. I figured if, if I leave it continuously running for a long time, um, it might actually make a difference. Um, you can't really see the fish probably because it's too, still too green. But they're down there. Yeah, you can kind of see them. So. And then I've also got the sump tank wrapped and the grow bed wrapped. Still don't have all my plants in here yet. They're still in the house. I'm kind of waiting for them to get a little thicker and stronger before uh, planting them in here. Just mainly got strawberries, a little jalapeno, um, squash, jalapeno peppers, and peas. That's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to actually go ahead and hook up, uh, do a hydroponics in this extra tank. Um, I'll just have like the floating raft. Actually, I'll just have the raft straight across here. So there's some aeration between, because I'm not going to add any um, any uh, aeration to the water in the grow bed. So I think that's pretty much it. I will finish the other side maybe tomorrow, like I said. And uh, hopefully my seedlings will hurry up and get going so that I can transfer them as soon as possible. But um, well, the water tested fine, so we're all good.